root pressure theory. If a stem is cut near its base, or incisions are made into a plant, xylem sap is seen to flow out through them. The phenomenon is known as exudation or bleeding. Priestley was one of the first to explain the process of upward flow of water in exudation is due to the hydrostatic pressure which is developed in the root system. The hydrostatic pressure developed due to the accumulation of water absorbed by the roots is called root pressure. If a vertical tube is attached to a bleeding stump, a column of sap will rise in it. It is most convenient to measure the pressure by means of a mercury manometer attached to the stump. Stephen Hillis coined the term root pressure, described this method and recorded pressures of over one atmosphere. Effect of root presence is observable as night and early morning when evaporation is low and excess water collects in the form of droplets around special openings of veins near the tip of grass blades and leaves of many herbaceous plants. Such water loss in liquid phase is known as gatation. In saxifera, gatation takes place rapidly during flowering. Colocasia loses about 10 to 100 ml of water daily during gatation. It is true that root pressure is a dynamic process, but in itself, it is not sufficient to drive water to a distance of 400 feet in the trunks of tall trees, as evidenced by the following findings. 1. The magnitude of root pressure has been generally found to be under few atmospheres, while a pressure of about 20 atmospheres is needed to raise water to the tops of tall trees. 2. There are many species in which the phenomenon has never been observed. 3. The rate of sap exudation is not adequate to compensate for the known rates of transpiration. 4. Root pressure has been found to be the lowest during summer when the rate of transpiration is rapid, whereas it is highest in spring when the rate of transpiration is quite slow. 5. Water continues to rise up even in the absence of root pressure. 6. Xylem sap under normal conditions is under tension instead of pressure proves that root pressure is not an important factor in the upward translocation of water. Transpiration pull. The upward movement of water through xylem in plants is achieved at higher rates, that is, up to 15 meters per hour. It is believed that water is mainly pulled through the plant and that the driving force for this process is transpiration from the leaves. This is referred to as cohesion tension transpiration pull model of water transport. Less than 1% of water reaching the leaves is used in photosynthesis and plant growth. Most of it is lost through the stomata in the leaves. This water loss is known as transpiration. Transpir